So hello everyone, I'm Sheila Fraser from Adina and I have the challenge of trying to talk about a project about middleware and it's about data. So what kind of service is it and what kind of analogy can I use to actually try and bring this a little bit to life? Now I started thinking about it and I figured I needed to do some research. Now I'm a really big fan of pizza, okay, so I started with pizza, pepperoni, stuffed crust, hot and tasty. Perfect place to start from my favorite pizza vendor because it gave me an idea. Now, when I'm hungry, I go to the web. I go to the website of my favorite pizza site. I put in what I want, mm, pepperoni, jalapenos, stuffed crust, and I, they figure out how to get someone to make that pizza and deliver it to my door within 30 minutes, and I like that. I don't really care how they do it, I just want that pizza at my door. And that's really good. So, open URL router is just like pizza. If you're looking for an article, uh, say you find it on site you like, the open URL router figures out which institutional resolver send that request to, and the resolver figures out what's the appropriate copy um, from the appropriate institutional resource and sends you that full text article to the student or researcher. Now, Ladies and gentlemen, the clever folks at the pizza site have a log of what it is that I've put in, and they know where I live. So last time I entered the pizza, um, they, they tracked it, and uh, they always remind, remember my address. And the open URL router is also not just a clever little piece of code. Um, it also logs all of the things that people are looking for. Now, it doesn't know if they find them or not, but it does know what people are looking for. That's quite unique. Um, it also logs up a few uh, other things like lookup requests and button images and keeps them over time. Now, every time I want a pizza, they know I want pepperoni with jalapenos again and back to my house. And so they have a log of me having the same pizza many times. And therefore, when I go back, they say, do you want the same pizza again to the same house as soon as possible? Yes, please. Makes it faster for me, nice and easy. I get tasty pizza delivered to my door faster. Now, the open URL router logs as much of the data as it gets at the same time, and it's all of these things on the right-hand side. There's a lot of stuff in there, but you might recognize a few like ISSN, article title, journal title, DOI, um, SID. Um, so there's an awful lot of information that's in there, and we'll come back to this. Um, this is what it actually looks like on the left. It's a complete mess. So this is what the log looks like. And the project was to turn it into a nice format on the right-hand side in a CSV file, make it available under ODC PDDL. And that is available. Um, and it's using the uh, Z3988 uh, uh, standard. So the clever folks at the pizza place have a new product. Uh, they now suggest that uh, I would like my usual pepperoni with jalapeno pizza with the new peri-peri stuffed crust. You know where this is. And I am a sucker for spice. So I say, yes, please, I will have that on my pizza. And they now remember it and suggest it. Next time, now, we can do similar things for articles that they can do for pizza. But we don't need to have the track of the actual user. We just need the log of what's being looked for. To be able to identify within a session what people were looking for and to be able to create links between them. So... In this project, our second aim, after making the data available, was to prove a hypothesis that we could use this to make recommendations. And this is the site that we've put together to demonstrate it. It's now live as of Monday. Um, and it does suggest things. And it's also proven it's not just about citation data. So it's a little bit more than that. And this is an example from the recommender where the, the article in the middle has been one that has been looked for over the last while and it was written in 1985. It hasn't been cited, but all of these other ones around the outside are linked through the basis of the session data that we've actually got. So it's telling us something more than the citation data, but we don't quite know what that is yet. It's something that's come out of people's heads from the links that they're clicking. Yes, you have seen this before. Um, I was struggling to make 20 slides, I won't deny it, so I've put this back in because there's a lot of information on it. But it made me wonder what else you could get from this. So things that we log are things like the date and time, and I wondered what it might be able to tell me about the service as well. So I started to take the log, which is 900,000 rows, and have a look at the total number of requests against the month so far. Um, so you can see that there's a weekly cycle pattern in here. It's quite clear. 
Um, and it's on a downward trend. So does that mean that the router is doomed, or is it just that we're following the academic pattern with the peak before the exams in May and levelling off in June and July? Not really sure, but hoping so, hoping it's not doomed. Could it tell us when we should take the service down for upgrades? Using the same data, you can see by day of the week that you can get the, the peak in May and then the tailing off in June and July for each day of the week. And Saturday actually looks like the day of the week which has the lowest usage. So it looks like Saturday might be a best day. Um, but looking at Saturday, <laughs> I was a bit surprised. There seems to be an exceptionally high point in there. I have no idea what that's come from. This has been done in the last couple of days, by the way. This is, this is from the brand new data set that was just released. Um, so we're not really sure what's going on in there. I need to have a look um, at the data in a bit more detail. But there's no time at zero. Um, so found a nice one on Mondays. Um, so this is the Mondays, uh, the number of visits for each hour in Mondays in July. Um, and you can clearly see that people work between about 9 and 5, tailing off, but they do work through the evening and into the wee small hours. Um, so... To nick a phrase from the recycling campaign, the possibilities are endless. We'd like you to take this data, recycle it, mash it up, do whatever you like. It's ODC, PDDL, so um, pretty much up to you. Some people have already had a shot at this, and these are some links to these. This will be made available after the event, so you can follow the links. Um, and so what we've done is to make uh, the open URL richer data available under ODC PDL. Uh, we've proven our hypothesis that we could actually use that data to make recommendations. And I've eaten a lot of pizza. So um, <laughs> please download the data set and see what you can do with it. Thank you very much.